Hi everyone, so we're going to be putting on these Continental GP5000s. We're going to be using these Vittoria latex inner tubes, these Lifeline valve extenders, these valve guard um, anti-rattle stickers, some lead weights for balancing, trusty talcum powder, some for bits of um, inner tube which I'll come on to. We've got a high pressure rim strip and of course scales and they'll come in handy in a moment. So. Um, let's imagine this is a really small inner tube. Um, I'm going to try and balance, so I need to offset this weight with the lead weights. So I cut out um, this bit off the inner tube. This is a double layer of latex. I cut it out, and then I cut out the same amount from the opposite side of the inner tube. This is just a single layer tube, so if I fold it over, it's double. So then I just cut out the double layers there. So that equals that. So that is the weight that I need to offset, obviously, plus the valve extender as well. Okay, so we're up on the table where I normally weigh everything. There it is, nice hard table. Um, so we've got the rear valve extender that I'm going to use. So 11 is the base. So that is 14. That is 13. So 14 for the rear, 13 for the front. Okay, this is on the cusp of being 13, 14 grams. So we're going to use four of them uh, for both wheels. Just makes it easy. Okay, so we've switched to the body cam. So we've got the valve hole. And opposite that, I'm going to put the four weights. And they're going to look something like this. Okay, so I'll just stick them on. I've already prepared the track with some alcohol. I've cleaned it all up. So we're just going to stick them on. And then we'll put in the high pressure rim strip. Okay, so um, I've stuck on the weights. So I'll put the rim strip in here. And then we will do the back wheel. Okay, for those who haven't seen a rim strip installation, I always get a valve or an inner tube, put it in the valve hole so like so, um, feed it around until you get to this point. Now, we can take just a normal butter knife, put it up onto the rim, and just feed it through like this and then it pops on see and then pull it out rim strip installed and the valve hole is in the right place okay for this deep section rim um we're going to find the opposite which is there and um, we're going to put the four in here this has actually got a curved bed um so what i'm going to do is put these in press them in and then just get a bit of tape just in case there's any sharp edges just tape in there and then that'll be the back wheel finished okay so it's on I've uh, put some tape on there just to stop the sharp edges from the lead and now we'll crack on with the rest okay guys when you're putting on the tires don't forget there's a rotation arrow and uh, some tires have it some don't but these continentals do so make sure you put the rotation arrow pointing the way it rotates. Okay guys, so uh, the tires are on. Um, what I like to do is put the brand above the valve hole. And I've done that on the deep section as well. And the reason I do that is if I get a puncture, once I take the tire off, you know, I can work out where the penetration was in the tire wall from the inner tube um, and just check if there's any debris in it. So now we're going to come on to a part which divides opinion like no other. It is the talking of the inner tubes. Now the reason I do it is to try and help me avoid getting the inner tube stuck between the tire bead and the wheel itself. That's the only reason that I do it is for install and that is it and each to their own. I do it and 
some people don't. So those inner tubes going in there and then we'll put them in the wheels. Okay, those are all mixed up now nicely. So we'll just uh, put a tiny bit of air in them and then uh, just to give them some shape and then we'll put them in the, we'll do the rear wheel first. Okay, as we can see, I've just uh, blown it up by my mouth pretty much. And uh, just to give it some shape and then we'll put it in the tire. So let's find where we're going. There it is. So we'll put it through. There we go. It's through. And now we'll just feed that like so. Get it seated in. Push it into the tire. There we go. So that's sitting just how we want it. Now we're just going to slowly put in the tire bead. So that is popped in because it's got some shape. We shouldn't have. We can check just by peeling it back. But that, oh, there is a problem here. Look, I might have to push that up. Yeah, and then it will seat. So I pushed the valve back in, the, the bead uh, fitted in. So that's fine. So it looks good all the way around. We're just going to do the same to the front wheel and then we will uh, inflate them a little bit, put the anti-rattle guards on and then we'll be okay. So that one can go over there and we'll do the same to the front wheel. So bring it up. Yeah. So I'm just going to blow this up with my mouth just to give it a bit of shape. There we go. So we'll find the valve hole. It's under the continental. Always remember that bit. That's exactly why I did it. So. Valve goes in, okay, tuck it in, lay the wheel down, feed it round. I've got talcum powder all over me. Just push it into the, into there. Right, now we'll start feeding it round. I'll push that up so that that seats, do that first, and just uh, pop it round, so. We are almost at the top. Now this is tight. Okay, this is one thing that you're going to get when you are putting tires on wheels. See how tight it is at the top. So we'll just take our time. It doesn't help that the tire is now super slippery with the talcum powder, but. Roll it over a little bit at a time. Whew. That is hard. That's actually really hard. Oh, that's hurting. Okay. Yep, that's tight. You'll get there. Just have a little break, see? And then all of a sudden it will just pop in. So I'm going to do this in real time. Sorry if I'm boring you, but um, it's hard to grip with the talcum powder. So I've probably not made it easy on myself. Here we go. Boom, in it goes. Okay, so just check that. Looks good. And because we've got the air in it again, we we'll just push the valve up to seat that bit because we shouldn't have any problems. So, okay, so we're all clean and we're going to pump up. Just put a little bit of air in here. Um, I'm using this uh, specialized air tool, Comp 365. 
I've had this for ages. Uh, I may get a digital one, I'm not sure. Um, but we shall see. So, so that's now up to 20. I'm just there testing, just to see how we're doing on the way. Really pushed down on it, so, whoop, just a bedding in there. So we're just gonna put them up to about 80. And that 28 mil tire is actually not bad. Wow, I'm impressed. It actually looks pretty cool. But we'll just pump up the back one to the same. So we'll open that up, push down on there. Jam that in there. Yeah, it's inflating. Yeah, the bead is uh, slipping out and catching. You can just feel the tire moving, especially around the valve. Oh, did you hear that? That was a big one. And that one. That's crazy. All right, let's pull that out. Don't know what those sounds are, but. Okay, so here's the finished product. Um, we've got the rotation in, we've got the Continental right above the valve, which is cool. Yeah, we had some big bangs there when we were pumping it up, but um, that 28 mil tire, I'm trying to get a profile. That's pretty much matching the the rim. I've gone from 25 to 28 just because I thought it would be cool. That is actually not bad. Cool. And now we've got the front one, continental above the valve, slightly off. If I was being picky to myself, I could come that way. A few mil, because it's not exactly in the middle, but that's life. So we'll go around. They look really cool. And let's have a look at the profile on this one. See, that is really nice. Yeah, really nice. So these will fit on my um, Yolio R12 2021 model. So we'll have the nice 88 on the back and the 60 on the front. Alrighty, so onto the valve guards. I've never used these in my life. I used to just uh, put black insulation tape around the valves. Clean and dry the rim and your hands first. Yeah, I've done that. Peel off the oval ro rubber guard. Slide over the valve with the widest ends following the circumference of the rim. Push down hard on the valve guard. Here we are. So let's uh, get into these bad boys. Put that there. Ouch, that went into my finger. Open the baggie. They kind of feel like puncture repair kit things. Peel off that bad boy. Okay, push it down. Complete pushing it. It does what it says on the tin. Wow. Will they stay on though? That's the problem, yeah? But, um, let's just have a close up of that. That's not bad, and not bad at all. Let's put the other one on quick. So peel one off. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Push the valve through, get rid of the middle bit. Push this all the way down till it hits the floor and then stick it down. No more rattles. That's not bad actually. That's not a bad idea. Okay, so we're here. The valve guards are on as you can see. Uh, what I would say is heat them up before you put them on because they didn't want to stick until I put my finger heat through it so they're actually yeah uh, so let's bring in the back wheel uh, here we go lay that one down there they're actually really cool I like them I like them a lot 
Okay, so we're up on the weighing scales. So we're going to weigh the front wheel like this. So in the front wheel, so we've got a 60 mil rim, a Continental GP 5000, a latex inner tube, we've got lead weights, um, an 80 psi of air. So that is one, one, seven, six, seven, seven. Okay, we've got the rear about to go on. Okay, one, three, nine, four. So that has the 88 mil rim, special assembly technology, Continental GP 5000, 28 mil. We've got a late Vittoria latex inner tube, valve extender, lead weight balancing. Um, on the back, we've got a DT Swiss 240 Ratchet EXP. Okay, uh, with Sapim C X ray aero spokes. So the whole thing is 1395. Fantastic. So that brings an end to our video putting in the tubes into our tires, balancing the wheel. Um, I'll actually span these both up and they don't even wobble at all. It's phenomenal. Um, I highly recommend balancing your wheels. Um, we'll put that on in the build video. Just don't want to store these in the garage um, till my bike comes. So I'm not going to put it on now. But thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next Chorus House. Take care, boy.